The top three reasons why New York City FSBO sellers fail to sell include poor listing syndication, unrealistic pricing, and a lack of professional photos and a floor plan. New York City FSBO sellers are also vulnerable to low confidence and self-doubt. This results in FSBO sellers prematurely delisting their homes without statistically giving the sale enough time to succeed, even when there is nothing wrong with their sales strategy. It's entirely possible to save up to 6% in commission when selling in New York City by following a simple game plan. These steps include choosing a realistic sale price, taking professional photos, listing on the RLS broker database, and learning how the sale process works in New York City. Here are the top three reasons why FSBO sellers fail in New York City. Poor Listing Syndication The vast majority of New York City FSBO sellers fail because they do not comprehensively advertise their listings on the correct real estate websites and the local New York City broker database. Advertising to buyers' agents by listing in RLS is especially important in New York City since over 75% of the buyer base is represented by buyer brokers. The possible outcomes of poor listing syndication as a seller in New York City include a lower sale price, failure to sell, or the gradual loss of confidence to the point that you succumb to a devastating double whammy of financial pain. Agreeing to pay 6% in commission to a traditional listing agent while also reducing your asking price. No professional photos or a floor plan. Listings without professional photos and a floor plan almost always experience underwhelming traffic and limp demand while also giving an edge to the competition. Some buyer agents in New York City won't even send a listing to a buyer for consideration unless the agent can review a floor plan to make sure the layout works for his or her buyers. Ordering professional photography and a custom floor plan is relatively inexpensive and offers a high return on investment. And that's one of the reasons why all legitimate listing agents always invest money in professional media. Unrealistic Listing Price Setting a realistic listing price is the most important part of the exercise of selling FSBO in New York City. New York City's real estate market is generally quite robust, even during market downturns. However, buyers are smart and they simply won't overpay. Not all apartments or brownstones are candidates for a bidding war, regardless of market conditions. Ultimately, your asking price needs to be in line with comparable listings and recent sales if you intend on selling it within the average amount of days it takes for other listings to sell in today's market. If the profit or sales price you envision is not in line with the current market, we suggest you either reset your expectations or hold off on selling until your targets are in line with actual market pricing. FSBO seller loses confidence. The sale process in New York City usually takes three to six months, even in a strong market. Unfortunately, far too many sellers simply assume that their home will sell in two weeks in a bidding war, just like what they read about in that Sunday New York Times article from who knows when. As the weeks pass, these sellers are naturally inclined to think they're doing something wrong, even if that isn't the case. When pricing your home, it's a good idea to research the average days on market for comparable sales in your neighborhood, so you can set accurate sale timing expectations. Looking to buy or sell a home in New York? Learn how you can save on commission and closing costs at www.houseit.com.